Well, hello from sunny Vilnius. I've uh, got up a bit late because my plane landed super early this morning, so I've had about five hours sleep. But I'm up and at them now, just um, polishing off my, my Lithuanian pancakes and uh, Lithuanian lager that I'm having for breakfast. <laughs> ah, both of which were absolutely delightful. And um, I mean, I've sort of staggered out the, the place it's been about. Sort of walked about five minutes of that. But the city does look beautiful. Just all the, the funky architecture they've got going on. So I can't wait to get exploring. Maybe we'll see some some lovely sights. But yeah, it's a, there's a heat wave that's hit the Baltics this weekend. So I intend to be outside as much as I can be. Cheers. And would you look at that? It's a Soviet tram. God knows, that's probably been going around since at least the 80s. But it looks funky, don't it? It's a whizzes off. I've just stepped into Sports Direct and look at this, it's like nothing you'd ever see in England. A racing track along the floor. And all these lovely shoes all lined up like that. It is a, it's a far upgrade from anyone I've ever been to anyway. Mine the national sport of Lithuania is actually basketball, not football. And look at the jersey. Very funky. There's one in his shoelaces. That's it, you love it. But do they have any football jerseys in here? Here it is. I have to follow a sign though. It's like a niche section, like I don't know, like a golf or a rugby bit would be in England. It's a nice Barca shirt there. Uh, France, Barca again, is that Liverpool? Yep, that's the ugly Liverpool third kit from last season. No Arsenal by the looks of things, Portugal? No, rubbish. The Obliques, some Juventus and lots of Man United. But yeah, it's funny, they've got like this, well, it's not tiny, but it's not particularly substantial. Tony Duggan's there though, that's pretty cool. Look at this, on a chair in the middle of a river. Absolutely mad. Just trucking along the Vilna. Pretty cool, right? We even get an armrest. No cup holder though, but you yeah, can't complain too much. It's just uh, ah, wicked. Absolutely wicked. I let my feet dry in the sun. I thought I'd show you what it looked like from another angle. Don't ask me why it's there. I've got absolutely no idea. But you sort of got to wobble out onto this little platform. And there's two chairs just there. It's absolutely glorious. Though. And I'm here now at the main event. Vitarai versus Helmans. Um, third, visiting fourth. Um, I've had a bit of a nightmare. So the ticket I, well, I didn't buy one online because I thought with the um, conversion rate on cards and whatever, there wasn't any point. So I just thought I would buy it on the day. I turn up and there's no ticket office. Um, so I have to buy it off the, um, off the, off the web. Uh, so the security guard very kindly hotspotted for me. Um, but my Revolut, I think the Revolut uh, website is currently under uh, maintenance, so it wouldn't let me buy it. But luckily the lady in charge of something, uh, she let me in for free. So that was a touch. And now I'm here at the LFF Stadium. The stadium which not only Vitarai play at, but also the, the very dominant uh, in Lithuania and the reigning champions, Zalgirish, Zalgirish um, Vilnius, and of course, the Lithuanian national team all play here. So I think I'm gonna try and find a beverage if I can, and then 
uh, sit back and watch the warm up. Currently, only the away team are here, as so I don't know if you can see the the, uh, the the coach there behind the badge. But there's a couple of guys warming up down there. Uh, the seats were the colour of the Lithuanian flag, which is nice. But yeah, at the moment, the home side here, I'm meant to be meeting the star man of uh, Guy Cass. Paul kiss a bit later on, so we'll see what happens. But yes, I am here, and it is still an absolutely beautiful day. They've got some lovely floodlights here, but I don't think so. No footy scran available. But I have treated myself to a beer. Ah, lovely jubbly. It's a. Uh, just Carlsberg, unfortunately. I was hoping for a, a Lithuanian delicacy like I had this morning, but alas, not. But one thing I have learnt is you scan around the ground. You can see that the majority, actually, you probably couldn't see, but trust me, the majority of the people are on the opposite side because they're in the shade. And if there's one thing I learnt about the Lithuanian people today as well. They don't really moan about the heat. They're all saying, oh, it's a lovely day, isn't it? They don't really like sitting in it. Like I got a seat in a cafe earlier because like, there was a couple of tables that were in the sun because no one else wanted to be in the sun. Whereas me, I quite like sitting in the sun with a nice beer to sip on. It's beautiful. Um, I'm still a bit worried that um, Vitara, I still haven't turned up, but um, especially given they're the home team, that would be a bit disappointing, wouldn't it? But you know, at least I haven't uh, travelled all the way from England just for this game. But you know, it'll be a, it'll be a disappointment. In fact, I think the goalies are coming out, so they must have driven themselves. There's no coach, but maybe they don't. Maybe they don't bother with that. Yeah, hoping for a crack. I mean, this Europa Conference League football at stake here for crying out loud. They've got to got to pull their fingers out both teams. Yeah, we'll see though. I'm um, and I'm hopeful. Uh, Vitari recently, Ritari recently sold their best player and captain to I want to say the Czech League, but it might have been. Um, might have been Poland I can't remember either way he's gone so there and he was uh, one of only two Lithuanian internationals in the squad the other one uh, Guy Cass who I already mentioned um, I'm hoping to get a picture with it's been quite a funny experience so far because there's so few people there can't be more than 40 people in attendance total so you can just hear the players, like if you listen now. Sometimes shouting in English as well. It's, it's interesting, you know, it's not like something you see every day, but it's. You know, it really does help you sort of understand what what is going on. Which is, you know, I always prefer a different experience than having the same drunk and groaning in an English game every time so yeah I'm, I'm embracing it at the moment it's quite it's quite enjoyable um, no goals as of yet quick counter from Hegelman and Alex de Souza has scored the away side lead 1-0 by the way can we all wish the Lithuanian FA and a happy 100th birthday it's their centenary year um, still nothing going on well, that's happened since then uh, other than the right winger for Vitare Lucas is getting an absolute bollocking from the bench for not pressing enough but it's so hot I mean look at it it's steaming so I don't entirely blame him balls up at the back someone gave it away in the box and then the keeper just let it squirm past him he really should have saved it the, uh, the, the Ritari forwards are furious. It was such a soft goal. And I think on that note, we're actually having a cooling break, which again, I don't begrudge them for at all in the 25th minute. 
and it's just gone 2-0 to Hegelman. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Ultra's really going for it now. Should be 3 0. Alex de Souza just put on a plate for Gavi, but he stuck it straight at the keeper. So, Ritter, I still have a chance, but I mean, they've been better in the second half, but still, you know, I can't see a goal coming anytime soon. Hopefully, I'm wrong, but not looking likely at the minute. Another really tidy goal. And it's 3 0. Real shame, but Hegelman running away with this a little bit now. No change to the scoreline, but look, some hot air balloons taken off. Doing a lot better than Ritara I have done tonight. An awful lot better. And there it is, full time. Eritrai nil, Hegelman three. A bit of a catastrophe for Ritarai, who are neither good nor convincing. And to cap it all off, they've lost ground on the European places with Sudova playing tomorrow. So we'll see what happens, but I mean, it wasn't good. It wasn't good showing from the guys, but hopefully I can get that pick with Gaitis at least. Hello and welcome to day two of the Baltic adventure. Still in Lithuania. I've literally just hopped off the coach from Vilnius to Mariampol. Um, I'm trekking over to the hotel at the moment and it is Possibly even hotter than yesterday. I think Vilnius had a bit of a breeze going on, whereas here really doesn't. It's quite, it's quite hot. But you know, can't complain. I'd be complaining if it was raining. So I'd rather, I'd much rather prefer this. Uh, the game's not for a little while, so I've got some time to kick my feet up, explore. I'd quite like a, a nice drink. So I'll. Um, you posted on all of that sort of stuff but yeah just um strolling at the moment trying to work out where it's best to go because i think it's been redone since i looked here on google maps but yeah i'm sure I'm sure i can find the way soon enough so yeah marian paul tonight the classico of lithuania look at that someone's selling strawberries right out the back of their car outside the supermarket with some minions outside it as well. Very cool, very Baltic. That's there. I'm still trying to find it. I'm not in, it's meant to be after this Garnies, but we'll see. And here it is, the most fine abode in all of Lithuania. Not the trailer, but the hotel next to it. Let's get myself checked in and have a goddamn drink. Got well over an hour till kick off, so I've got myself some borscht and some beer. The uh, the Baltic way. I mean, borscht is a Ukrainian dish. This isn't Baltic, but not home do. It's, it's uh, as you can probably tell by my face, it is uh, another have a scorching day here in Lithuania. Well, I just can't wait. I'm here for the classic car now. I'm going to be heading there pretty much straight away from here to see what is going down. Now, in Vilnius, there wasn't really much sign of the Soviet Union at all. But here in Mariampol, there's a couple of little reminders, some giant concrete factories that are no longer in use. But, I mean, there's no, <laughs> there's no other regime that would have sectioned off something that brutalist. It had to be, it had to be the Sussar. 
I mean, just look at it. It's clearly not in use as well. There's just birds flying over it. Although it is a Sunday. So who knows, maybe it is still in use. And it's just not, and just all the workers just have the day off. Who knows, but I'm on my way to the Classica. So we'll see, maybe that's where they all are. Just strolling up, but look through this rusty old gate. There's a turnstile and some seats. So obviously this is a, an old stadium, but I mean, I can see some grasses and flowers in front. So it must have been turned into houses or something. Yeah, maybe this is where Sudva used to live. Not used to live, used to play. It still looks like it. Well, I mean, it could be in better, Nick, but it wasn't terrible. I, um, yeah, just, you know, I didn't expect to see an abandoned ground here. I just thought they'd play in an old rickety one if they played anywhere. Um, but in fact, there we go. Stadion Suduva. You get your casas here. Marion Paul Sports Centre with their uh, queues and all sorts VIP parking area but uh, that's not where we're going we're going to the, the Hick Vision so join me, I'll probably be there when you see me next but anyway, here we are the Hick Vision Stadium or the Seduva Arena and already you can see it is a lot bigger than the one we walked past actually, to be fair I take it back, it's also right next to I don't know if you can see in the distance dome here uh, that's where they um, like the indoor team play it's also where they can train and stuff during the winter when it's cold but yeah just making it round to where I'm gonna be sitting that big old stand over there they're hoping for a cracker Already the early impressions are a little different for one. There actually are away fans at this game. Which uh, there, w there weren't any at the other maps. There's also a lot more um, replica shirts around. I don't actually have any shot at the minute, but you know, people actually have the merchandise of the team, whereas I think there were one or two people that had shirts from the other game. So it's going to be interesting to see, you know, obviously these sides are a lot better supported and this is probably the biggest game in the Lithuanian calendar. So we'll see what happens. I'm looking for a good game and a uh, Saduva win to make the title race more interesting. A little bit of backstory to this fixture. It is the traditional big two in Lithuania. I can't remember the last time a side that wasn't for me, either these two teams ended up winning the league. Uh, Zagirish just went top. With their, with their win at the weekend, last weekend. Well, Sudova are actually having a bit of a poor season by their standards, down in fifth at the moment. Still in with the shout of Europe, but I think the title might have already already slipped away from them this season. But you know, if they win today, who knows? Maybe they can start to rein, rein them in a bit. But yeah, I'm. It's a bit of a shame this isn't like a, a game that could go a long way to deciding the title. so far so I mean hopefully they can get back into it but it is 1-0 Zalgiris
the Saduva keeper came out, got absolutely nowhere near it, and the forward raced onto it and slotted home. It's 2 0 to the league leaders, and I guess this is why they're the champions and they're the teams at the team at the top. But they've not played well at all. Um, and just nick two goals. And suddenly with about five minutes to go, so four minutes to go in the first half, it is Sudova nil, Zaljudish two. Two nil to some champion Zaljudish at half time. Uh, the start was pretty good for us. Um, Suduva, as I mentioned, the fans were right behind them. Um, they played really well, I thought. Created a lot of good opportunities. And then, um, out of nowhere, Zadgir, Zadgirish, belt one in the top corner. And it was all then from there, really. It was quite interesting, because both sides were playing a very similar formation, both using wing-backs. Build-up play was on the ground, but quite slow. And then, it sort of... You know, that goal just put some wind behind the, the Zalgiris sails and they really went for it after that. So I, I, I struggled to see a second half comeback, but obviously that's what I'm hoping for. Because the support's been really good. You know, they've been right behind their team starting chance to drown out the away fans and um, just be there be there for the team. So hopefully hopefully they get something to cheer about at least. I'm just like a home goal because I've been supporting both the home teams. Both of them have lost without scoring so far, so it'll be quite nice to have a Saduva goal if nothing else. Obviously, if we can get a point or something, that'd be even better. So, here's hoping, second half about to kick off. It's uh, I'm sitting in the shade in this game, and the temperature is absolutely lovely, but you know, I feel like the players are playing a little slower than they could because it is so hot, but yeah, we'll see. Looked offside to me, but it's 3 0. Winger raced down the side to me, he looked offside and then just teed it up for the, the striker. But it's Zagiris 3 0 up now. Still no sign of anyone leaving, which is good, but yeah. Fans not happy. Not happy at all. As you hear, the fans very unhappy with the ref, whistling in booby now after every decision. Counter attack and it's 4-0. Um, again, I think the goal scorer was offside there, but Lino's not given anything. So it's 4-0 to the league leaders and the champions, Zalgirish. Um, second half has been one-way traffic really, so not too surprised. But I mean, before kickoff, who'd have predicted that, eh? And the fans are starting to leave. 4-0 to the final. has a second. Uh, nice outside the boot finish around the keeper. And it's actually 5-0 now, I cannot believe it. But Saduva have stopped playing, the manager's taking all their best players off. Um, saving them for the conference league, I'm guessing. But, yeah, I mean, that corner there, the only, the only people very happy about this result. As uh, people start to leave the ground. Not a good day for FK Sudva. Not a good day at all. Five now. Not a single second of extra time. The referee blows the whistle. It's been an embarrassing result. It has been an embarrassing season for FK Saduva. Um, but I don't think they ever thought. Is it, you know, the turnout was pretty good today, so I don't think they thought in a million years that their team would get beaten this badly. So it's proved, unfortunately, the champions uh, really showing their stuff in the second half, playing some good, quick football, you know, even in the heat. And yes, they, um, you know, they did deserve it in the end. But the game really swung on that, that Weldy being stuck in the top corner towards the end of the first half. 
because uh, Sadiva were de really deflated after that. I mean, of course, you should be playing on. Of course, you should be trying to give your all for the end. But, it could, you know, Zagiris could have had an, a couple of other, chance, other goals. They had some good chances. So, it's only the away fans from Vilnius cheering today. Sadiva nil, Zagiris five. So as I stand outside the old Sadova st Stadium, just got me wondering, you know, what's gone wrong here? To have a team that were, you know, champions, I think three years ago, now losing 5 0 to the latest rivals. It's just a, their greatest rivals, I should say. It's just, it's just a shame, isn't it? You know, we always want competitive football and competitive leagues. And grind, granted, you know, Zagiris Zal, were not top two weeks ago. Um, FK Panyidzvisa uh, were not our yeah, not anymore, unfortunately. So, yeah, it just sort of just goes to show that, you know, life comes at you fast sometimes. you got to you got to take the good times while they're there. Because at the end of the day, in football, you... It's not guaranteed unless you've a very few number of clubs that you win something every year. So, you know, obviously it's a massive shame for the, the supporters. And as I'm sure you heard, they were very passionate. They were very, very up for the game today. And I think they sort of hoped maybe more out of blind optimism than anything else that they'd be able to get something out of today's game. So to, to lose the way they did, it must be a big shame for them. But, you know... That concludes my my tour of Lithuania. I'll be heading to Riga tomorrow for the second the second leg of the of the journey. That was just a quick stop over. But yeah, it's such a shame that the big one, the, you know, the game that really made me want to do this whole thing. As a boy racer zooms by. The game that made me really want to do this whole thing ended up being such a one-sided game. I had a had the pleasure to meet some of the players behind the game, but behind after the game, and um, you know these were these were Suduva players, and they were they were devastated about the result. But ultimately, you know, I'm not really sure what what more they would have expected because you know they didn't play particularly. Well, especially in the second half, you know, if you're coming out with a 2-0 down, that's when you've got to go for it and give it your all. But they um, just capitulated, defended really badly. The coach, I thought, made some bad changes as well that left um, left Sadova wide open at the back. You know, their organisation wasn't great. They conceded almost all their goals from runs in behind and they never really caught on to that. But, you know... It is what it is at the end of the day, right? The um, Zagiris fans are heading back to Vilnius, very happy, and that's all that matters at the end of the day, I suppose, for them. They were they were very happy. Very happy indeed. Um, so, yeah, we go on. Next stop, Latvia. I had signed off, but I couldn't not show this Soviet play park right outside this Soviet Bokka Flats. It's, uh, it's a thing of beauty really, isn't it?